they make good stories. We set off from our baronial manse. I don't have my hat on, sorry. To attend Lily's War. We steered a southerly course, as is proper, anticipating an experience of joie de vivre that seems almost a part of that wonderful place. As expected, we had a bonny time there. My lady and I danced her favorite pavon. The fighting was wondrous. Sun glinting off mail, helm, axe, and shield. That is, when the weather was not <clears throat> causing the lake to produce frothy waves. You see, Lily's is held in the seasons of storms. And while some might scoff at the idea of these storms, they are also often feared. <laughs> After one archery tourney, where we strove to advance our side in the war, our pavilion was assailed by one of these four storms. So strong it was that it caused our bedding to flocculate. No, weird. And when we looked out, we saw something weird, but wonderful. Was it an emu? No. Was it a dwarf of the Norse legend? No. Were folk building a Catholic chapel on site with wonderful intaglio adorning it? No. It was a great rainbow which began and ended on the lily side, with a second, emulating the first as well as any we'd air seen. It was then that we saw the ship, the Firdraka. It had set off from the wharf. There it sailed out upon the lake. Perhaps a Viking, whose ship had burned, now heading off across Bifrost Bridge toward Valhalla, or perhaps it was Otter way to Avalon. And while I would say that the event was in the top decile <laughs> of Lily's I have attended, this one experience exceeded all. Mm.